Starting with our team captain at number seven, John Guy. At number one, Jude Aguilar. Wearing jersey number eight, Leo Cogimbal. At number 10, Francis Casas. Wearing jersey number 11, Lorenz Domingo. At number 12, Mark Paulino. Starting the barrel is number two, Lawrence Canlas. With her head coach, Mr. George Pasqua. Now introducing the starters of Signal HD Spikers. Starting off with number three, Mark Aliado. At number four, Peter Torres. Number 11, Alfred Valbuena. We're in jersey number 12, to Mason Njiga. Number 14, Ravins Abrot. At 18, Gabriel Casania. Starting libero is number 13, Manuel Sumangi. Head coach is Mr. Dexter Clamor. Let's check out the starters first for the Davis Adamson squad. Casas, Aguilar, Guy Paulino, Coquimbal, Domingo, and Canlas as their libero. For the Signal HD Spikers, we have Valbuena, Njiga, Calado, Abrot, Torres, Casania, and Sumangid as the libero. We'd like to welcome you all to our coverage of the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference here on One Sports on One Sports Plus and Pilipinas Live Dip Dip Yanko with Ivy Remulia for this match alongside uh, Denise Valdesancho as our courtside reporter. For Adamson, this is a must win already for them if they don't want to rely on Letran losing their final match. So all the focus is here against Signal, mm -hmm. who is unbeaten so far in the tournament, Ivy. That's right. So, uh, no, there's there's a, a lot at stake here for this game for Adamson. Because Signal, we all know that whatever happens, they already move on to the next round. But uh, for Adamson, again, it depends on the outcome of this game. And possibly also whatever result the last game of Letran would be. But that would be already uh, very close, you know, because if Adamson loses this, then they really have to watch out of the result for uh, Letran and hope that Letran would also lose against Coast Guard. Uh, first point goes to Aguilar for Adamson. It's really just uh, unfortunate for Davis Adamson that last game, if they go on to be eliminated in this tournament, they will look back at that loss against Letran. That's right, because, you know, they were up by two. It was, it was theirs already. You know, pretty much convincing me they were playing uh, very, very well in yeah. that first two sets. Uh, so far, so good for Adamson with a 2 to nothing start against Signal. The HD Spikers just uh, played in the finals of the PNVF Challenge Cup. Yesterday, they lost against USC. And this, and this team... They have played eight games in 14 days, mm. so the rotation, pretty much Coach Dexter Clamor trying to rotate his players. Right. Iba yung starting lineup niya kasi siyempre minamanage din yung minutes ng kanyang team. That's right. You know, the fatigue factor, of, of course, will kick in. And for the, uh, pero siyempre health and welfare na rin ng players, no? And Signal responds with back-to-back -back points as well. They tie the game up at 2-all. It will be Mark Calado serving for Signal. One of the new recruits as well of the HG Spikers coming out of the FEU program. Free ball given up. Calado with a pickup. Casania will set. Balbuena's attack was picked up. And Aguilar will get another point. Two points already for Jude Aguilar. Good setup there from Domingo. And Jude Aguilar is number 27 in the tournament in terms of scoring. Mm -hmm. But he's uh, number five in uh, spiking mm. right now. And Jika will respond as the middle blocker on the other end of the net. 
Three all to start set number one. And Chu will serve. Oh, that's a point. A quick play for Adamson. Aguilar once again with a point for Adamson. Jude Aguilar will serve four to three. It's received by Abrot. And Calado did not have enough space to get to that second touch. It's a service ace for Jude Aguilar, who now has three points early on in this match. Better first ball for Sumang. And Calado scores from the back. A lot of strength in that pipe hit by Calado. Four serving five, Alfred Valbuena will serve for signal. Domingo sets up the play. And Casas answers. This is what Davis Adamson missed in their last game. Casas did not see action mm -hmm. in that one. That's right. Uh... It could have been, of course, uh, different. Uh, but, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, if you look at it, they were up by two already. Yeah. So oh. with or without Casas, it did seem like, you know, they are, they are capable of getting that win. Signal down by two. Abroad is rejected by Kogimbal. Deo Kogimbal, currently the number one blocker in the league. He shows exactly why on that play. And again, that's what's interesting here with Adamson. You know, they're not the tallest of players in the league, but they're blocking very well. They're defending the net very well. And that could prove useful against a team like Signal. Jumps at the net. Oh, that's an overreach in violation. Couple of miss attacks for Vince Abrot. And Davis Adamson is first to the technical timeout. Eight to four. Conversation uh, earlier with Signal HD Spiker Captain Isai Marasigan. At I mean, I mean, coming from PNVF yesterday. Malungkot at mabigat daw ito para sa team. But despite this, uh, today the team's feedback that was well and everybody is well rested. For their final match, heading to the quarterfinals, undeniably with a team such as Adamson, hindi ito basta basta. At may difference daw talaga sa training. And everybody is talented. But Captain Isai is certain of today, Sisi Paganila on their road towards the quarterfinals. Dip, Ivy. Thank you, Denise, for that report. Uh, meanwhile, the HD Spikers down by four. And based on that report of Denise, Shempere, you're coming off a loss just yesterday in another league. Mm -hmm. They lost to USD, as mentioned. They will want to try and avenge that one here. But it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy against an energized Adamson squad who are fighting for their spot in the quarterfinals. That's right. And uh, you know what, what's key here actually for Adamson is that they're not supposed to uh, lose their confidence no, no matter what. And uh, so far, they're doing a good job. And uh, Signal down by four. Five serving nine. Abrot will serve. That's a good one over received and an easy point for Calado. Check that out once again. And they cut the lead down to three. Abrot with another serve. 
Better first ball, Domingo upset. And Paulino is rejected at the net. Excellent blocking from Signal. Well, you already have Peter Torres in front of you, so that's a big assignment. Lead is cut down to two. Signal continues to serve courtesy of Abrot. Domingo. Set a bit too low, but no problem. Just right for Kogimbal. Take a look at that once again. Good setup. So this is one of the things that Adamson can actually utilize much. Uh, going ag up against Signal. Re fast plays. Just to make the blockers moving as Kogimbal scores once again. Something different with this Davis Adamson squad, right? Mm -hmm. Ending their campaign in the UAP Season 85 as the seventh placer. But they look like a different team here in the Spikers. I turf. agree. I definitely agree. So a lot of they're, they're moving more confidently. There's a lot of firepower that you can see. Torres sets up the play. Calado has been the main scorer right now for Signal. Let's take a look at that attack once again. Torres with that setup. Torres with a serve. The bump by Canlas. Casania chooses Calado again. Kept alive, Domingo. Free ball given up. Oh, oh, and the free ball scores the point. I don't think John Guy also expected that one. Definitely, that's why they're more happier than well, with that point. But of course, we have to get credit to the defense of Casas. Right. A four-point lead for the Blue Shirts. Casania, back row attack from Abroad. Good hit from Abroad. Signal trailing by three. So nice attack from Vince Abroad. Casania serves. Domingo looks ahead. That Within. was uh, too low. Aguilar unable to get that one over. And the lead is down to two. Over receive. Ball still alive. Oh, and that one through again. John Guy scoring. His attacks aren't the strongest mm -hmm. here in this set. But just enough to get a point. Majority of the attack points that Adamson has scored against Signal are not the stronger hits. And that's an ace from the setter, Domingo. Second service ace for Adamson. They are now up by four. Too long this time. Signal down by three here as Mark Calado is set to serve. Domingo upset. The attack is inside of the block. For Casas. Good setup job from uh, Domingo. Asanya back sets. Uh, the point delivered by Calado. Jiga's serve is short. 
And this leads us to our second technical timeout, Davis Adamson up by four. chemistry po ng team. Nakatulong din sa amin yung mga bagong rookies na pumasok para mapaganda pa yung team namin. Sabi nila, coach, isipin daw namin na every tatapa kami sa court, isipin namin na last game na namin. Kahit first game pa lang, last game na. Ang bigay na namin yung lahat kasi wala nang next time. Uh, yun po yung mindset na binibigay sa amin ni Coach Luge. Access to the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference 2023 live and in HD on One Sports Plus, plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. Three point game here, Signal. Looking to build on that previous point of Calado, Valbuena will serve. Calado has been very consistent with that pipe. And that's a down the line hit from Paulino. And Domingo has been doing a good job of uh, distributing the ball. And that goes to show why he's currently a number one ranked and all of all the setters in the league. Asanya goes to Torres. Osafat, the Jewel Asia will be the one to enter the floor, replacing Valbuena and EJ Casanya. Abrot is back at the service line where he served well a while ago. Mm -hmm. That's right, big uh, heavy serves from Abrot. That's an error for Abrot. Second service error for the side of Signal. Like, na ako sabihin yun. Eh. <laughs> Honestly. Sabi nga natin, yung curse nga, eh, diba? Every time pag nababati natin, eh. <laughs> A better first ball here. Asia sends it to Calado. Denied by Kogimbal. The number one blocker in the league. With two kill blocks so far. Calado has been very effective at the pipe. You know, nobody's able to answer his attacks from the back line. But a good read on that time by Kugimbal. Five-point lead for Adamson. A float serve for Paulino. They send it to Calado again. This time he scores. Good adjustment from Calado. Peter Torres will be the one to serve for Signal. His team down by four. Domingo looks at the other side, kept alive by Asia. Torres from the back, you rarely see that. Mm -hmm. Off the block, still alive. Osapat was there for the coverage. Calado, yes! Back-to-back -back points for the HC Spikers to cut the lead down to three. JP Bugawan now in for the serve. Sixteen serving nineteen. Domingo back sets to the back row attack. And Casas flies to score. Oh, 
Sumang will bump it. Kalado waits. It's back with the white shirts. And Jigo was the one who got that. Isa pa. Nilipat sa kabila. And Josafat is rejected at the net. Excellent blocking showed by Adamson. And again, you know, height disparity, if you look at it in the court, Adamson is really relatively a very short team mm. compared to uh, Signal. Mas mahaba yung mm. HD Spikers. Pero yung basa ng Adamson really with the attack is very, is very good. And Jiga gets that point as he apologizes for that hit. Babalik ang starters na sila Kasanya and Valbuena. Four point lead. And Adamson only needs four points too to get set number one. Let's see if the HD Spikers can make a run. Domingo, the setup to Guy. So what Adamson is doing very well right now is really breaking the blockers of uh, Signal. And Signal will call for time as we listen in. Off timing ke. Baka ito paano may makapaka malaking bagay. Again, setters. Pag may pagkakataon mabigay sa gitna, bigay na kagad sa gitna. Kahit sabihin nyo ang maliit yung blocker doon sa kapila, eh, di ba, nakakakapa tayo eh. Mas madali magtrabaho sa gitna eh. Either MB or Pipe. Okay? Abulin natin yan. Yes, Coach. Kaya mo yan, layo pa. Awesome. Thank you. Let's see that previous play. John Guy getting that one mm -hmm. through. And a lot of space for Guy to work with again. We've heard over the timeout that uh, what uh, Coach Dexter Klammer is looking for really is the blocking. Would this go over? It does, and it's a free ball. Combination! Oh. And of course, Adamson will go for a fast play while Signal is trying to reorganize themselves inside the court. But that was one of the best plays we've seen. Combination really confusing the defense of Signal. Hasas once again. Six point lead. Adamson gets to that guy with the approach. And he scores off the block. Adamson is on a roll. And they arrive at set point. Adamson about to give Signal their second set loss right. in the entire tournament. It, the first one came in the hands of uh, St. Gerard. St. Gerard, that's right. And for most of these teams, winning a set over Signal is already a big thing. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Caliado once again now with a point, so he already has eight points out of attacks in the first set. A set point sale, pero anim pa mm -hmm. ang hinahabol ng HD Spikers. Calado will send that short as we end the first set. Adamson getting that one. To no surprise because of how well they've been playing here in the Invitational Conference. We'll be back with set number two after this break.
inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center for the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference. Davis Adamson handing signal. It's only a second set loss here in the tournament. What did they do right there, Ivy, in your opinion, that got them that set one win? Well, definitely for one, you know, the fast plays that they've been executing. A lot of combination attacks we're seeing from Adamson. And, you know, that helped slow down the defense of signal, especially at the net. We've seen several sequences. They only have one blocker going up against them. So a lot of uh, areas to move around with for the attackers. And they've also been defending the floor very well. So a lot of returned hits from uh, the side of signal. And... Uh, they also did a good job in trying to minimize their errors. And I think that's one of the things, you know, if you're going up against a strong team like Signal, you really have to limit the errors as much as possible. And as we take a look at the numbers for set number one, 16 attack points for Adamson, more, two more than what Signal has made. And the blocking yeah. of Adamson was really exceptional in set number one. Doon nahirapan itong, uh, itong Signal. They also had a lot of pressure placed at the service line, two service aces. And this is what I'm talking about no they minimize the errors they only had uh, three errors for a uh, set number one so if they continue to play that consistent throughout the match and they will really be giving signal uh, a hard time right and uh, we'll see what adjustments they will make mark calado is one of the lone bright spots mm -hmm. of signal in set number one but adamson they look unfazed Para alam na yung gawin. Oh, they need to right. win this one in order for them to advance to the next round. That's right. So a lot at stake. Again, we've seen you know, there are lots. There's a lot at stake for Adamson here. Signal. They're assured of moving on to the next round, but definitely for them, they would want to enter that in uh, with a positive note. No, they would want to enter that with a win. So uh, I'm sure that. Signal really means business because, like, let's take a look at the starting six that they have here <laughs> on the floor right now. And in that si Jao Mandal mm -hmm. in set number one. Bugawan also the starting middle para si HD Spikers. They keep that ball alive. Chance for the blue shirts. Casas. First point for Adamson here in the second set. One clear advantage that uh, Adamson had over Signal at the first set was their attack conversion. So 62% ang kanilang mm. uh, efficiency rate while Signal is only 44. That is a high mm. mark para sa Adamson soaring Falcons. Meanwhile, Signal responds. Well, we've talked about the fatigue factor uh, mm. for the HC Spikers, but how about the mental aspect? Them losing to a collegiate team yesterday, does that come into play also facing Adams at this time? It could be, of time? course, because siempre, we all know that, and I'm sure they themselves know that they're the top uh, club team or the top th top team here in for the men's uh, in the Philippines. So, siempre, it says a lot, you know, that the collegiate team, uh, they lost to a collegiate team. And uh, it's an important, uh, an important match as well. But more than that, I think it also goes to show how the programs of these collegiate teams have improved. Really, the players are built yes. different nowadays, no? Kaya na mga pagsabayan eh. I agree. And Wendell Miguel sees action for the first time. I saw him a while ago as Bugawan getting that point. Gusto niya magpumasok eh, no? <laughs> he wants to help out. The HD Spikers who are up by one point here in set two. Domingo back sets and the block for Mandal. Better start here for HD Spikers. Mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, they have a better control over the match now as compared to set number one. Bugawan continues to serve. Domingo had to bump it. And Casa scores off the block. Three serving four. Casania goes back row to Miguel and he gets his first point.
Back to a two-point lead here in the second set. Lloyd Osafat. Combination works. And Paulino did a good job at that. I mean, if you're here and you're watching live, you can see that Paulino really, when he hit that attack, he had an angle na para lumabas yung ball. Hindi lang kita doon sa replay natin, but yung snap ng wrist niya was really meant for that ball to bounce off the hands of the blocker. Those are the little things that these players make. Meanwhile, Wendell Miguel gets another point. Back-to-back so -back points there for Miguel. Chao Omandal will be the one to serve for signal. Domingo goes back row. And a point for Casas. So Adamson is keeping this close. Only down by one. Casania goes to Mandal. Clipping the net. Guy with the approach. Oh, good block from Torres. Peter Torres denying entry on that one. Seven serving five. Ooh. Short on that serve. As Torres apologizes to coach Dexter Clamor. A signal holding on to this lead. Four service errors already for signal here in this match. Kasanya inangat. Okay, Josafat. Oh, but the violation is called up against signal. Illegal attack, mm -hmm. Kosafat stepping on the line, and we are tied at 7 all. Kasanya ups it to Bugawan. Ooh, that's, that's a facial. <laughs> that is straight to the face of Paulino, but Bugawan apologizes. Signal first to the technical timeout. You're still watching the 2023 Spiker Surf Invitational Conference. Davis Spain with Adamson one set in versus the Signal H D Spikers. Dip IV during their warm up right before this match. Outside hitter Francis Casas of Davis Spain Adamson confidently told me that kami today. He said their eagerness to play is on a different level, coming from a loss against Letran that he failed to participate in due to UAAP Beach Volleyball. Sayang alang daw because Marcus Pejo, one of his idols, is not present today. Dahil tulad nito. He really hopes to play internationally one day. Dip, Ivy. Thank you, Denise, for that report. Well, Casas has been uh, playing well for Adamson. That's why he wasn't able to play last game no, against Letran. And right on cue, he scores. That has a beach volleyball. The like, mm. conflict is scheduled. But right now, he is here, ready for the Soaring Falcons and hopefully to get a win for their final pool match. Kasanya to Bugawan. Picked up there, Paulino. Sumang saves it. Umandal faking. And that one, Aguilar wasn't able to get a touch. Just a bit too high, too far That's for right. Aguilar to reach. Domingo upset Paulino. 
There's a touch on the side of Signal, according to our linesman. He tried to... Well, he went down the line, but Signal will challenge. Block touch is what they will challenge. Sabi ng ating officials, there was a touch. Mm -hmm. Paulino also keeping a straight face. Let's see if this will work to Signal's favor based on the replay. So this would put Signal at a two-point advantage if uh, they win the challenge. Earlier in set number one, they were left against Adamson. Mm, right. Eh. Actually, Adamson had a four-point run in the early part of uh, set number one. No block touch based on the replay. So challenge is successful for the HD Spikers. And you're right, Ivy, they are now up by two points. Wendell Miguel will serve. That's a good one. Casas breaks the block. Casas performing very well today. He seemed uh, no, eager to really make up for the game that he missed last time. Casania upset to Umandal and Jao scores. The lead is back up to two. JP Bogawan getting set to serve. Did not see a lot of action in set number one. That's he was right. just fielded in to serve a while ago. This mm -hmm. time playing more minutes. More, more of the starters of uh, most of the starters of Signal were actually resting in the first set. Kogimbal getting that one. I think that hit the head of uh, Safat, no? yeah. Casania goes to the runner of Peter Torres. Classic Peter Torres attack there. And Osafat will be the one to serve. Paulino, wow! Oh, what an emphatic hit by Paulino. What an attack there for Pao Paulino. And there's that space in between the two blockers. Just enough for him to get that point. Sobrang tulin. Oh. And you know, that's what Adamson has been actually doing, you know, a lot of fast plays, low sets, even at the opposite or at the wing. Kasanya Jao asking for it. Na ibalik ng Adamson and they tie the game up at 12 all. Excellent defense at the net for the boys in blue and they're really very happy about it. Let's take a look at that once again. I think it was Domingo who had, uh, or it was Kugimbal, I think. Adamson with the cheers inside Paco Arena. They go back to Torres. That was really fast. Check out that play once again. The back set from Casania to Peter Torres. And when you have Peter Torres at the front line, your blockers will really have to commit. Jao Umandal serving for signal. Too long. Deadlock once again at 13 all with Kogimbal. You can feel the presence of Kogimbal at the net for Adamson. Six points, three of those coming from block. Stories again. But so far, 
It has been the attacks of Torres that Adamson has not found a solution to just yet. It was just you know, too fast, really, for the blockers of Adamson. Thrice now for Peter Torres. This time his service goes through. Domingo going to Aguilar. And uh, Adamson showing off their own version of that running hit. Lorenz Domingo with a serve. Casania bumps it to Miguel. Chance here for the Blue Shirts to take the lead. Casas. The tip by Aguilar does not work. Free, Free ball. ball. Domingo. Casas. Yes. Very smart move from Casas. Again, you know, the athleticism of the Adamson team was really exceptional. Aguilar down on the floor, trying to jump for a quick, and then Casas coming out of nowhere. And Domingo just doing a good job. Yeah, he's able to read where his attackers are. Casania oh, to Bugawan. Bugawan. Adamson keeping it alive. No, there's a violation. Deadlock at 15 all here in set number two. Casania having a word with Coach Dex. EJ will serve. Domingo goes to Aguilar, picked up by Signal. Casania goes to Miguel, and he scores. And Signal is first to this second technical timeout. They're up by one over Adamson. Lahat sinasabi, ang lakas ng team nyo, walang malakas para sa akin kasi kung ako naman yung nasa kabilang team, so talunin yung mga nasa taas. Ang iniiwasan talaga namin yan nga yung pagiging complacent sa laro. Ang sabi lang ni coach is, every game no mercy. During training, kailangan 100% para pagdating ng, pagdating ng game, 100% or mas may higit pa. Watch the PBA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on One Sports. PBA Rush and Pilipinas Live PBA 3x3. Lakas ng tatlo. Wendell Miguel. The second best outside spiker in the last open conference where Signal HD Spikers were the champions, by the way. He will be the one to attack. Picked up by Adamson. Here comes Casas. Blocked. Let's take a look at that play. Good block by Signal. Two point cushion for Signal. Casania. Domingo. Goes to Guy, back with Adamson. Casas goes up, picked up by Sumang. Back set to Safat. <laughs> Signal enjoying themselves as they take a three-point lead. Adamson calls for time. <laughs> Timeout 
timeout called by Adamson as they trail by three points. An unfamiliar territory since in set one, no? They were leading. Right. So let's see how they would respond to that timeout. So, they, I mean, they recognize that Signal is a strong blocking team, so they really have to use their smarts going up against them. Right, Signal, of course, doing that one in that play. Chance for the white shirts. The pump by Umandal to Safat. That's wide. Two-point lead for Signal. John Guy with a serve for Adamson. Kasanya tosses it. Oh. Osafat providing the points here in set number two. Well, the blockers of Davis where Adamson were there, but uh, just too much space in between them and the net. Domingo goes to Aguilar. And that's a point off the block. And this is probably the swipe, you know, that they've been talking about well, over the timeout. So again, you have strong blockers in front of you. So how do you use that to your advantage? Well, that was low, but still, Bugawan able to put that over. Sumang trying to save that one, but to no avail, Adamson is down by just one point. Jude Aguilar back at the service line for the Soaring Falcons. Kasanya goes to Umandal, Jao with a drop. Still saved by Adamson, but Paulino mishandles that one. And Paulino had the right thing in mind, but not enough power to push that ball over. He was way, uh, he was really far from the net. Yep. Five points for JP Bugawan. Mandal unable to take advantage. Battle at the net, won by Adamson. I think the confusion between the Adamson players sort of helped, you know, uh, get earn them that point. Let's take a look at that. So the ball was picked up at Domingo and Kogimbal were both trying to get at the ball. Yeah. Bermudez enters the game to serve. Gutierrez also on the floor for. Davis Adamson, they're down by one. 19 serving 20 here in set two. Casania goes to Miguel from the back. Back to a two point advantage for the HD Spikers. Osafat serves. Over received. But it's Adamson. Chance here for signal. Casania goes back row to Miguel. Checked. Sumangid bumps it. Umandal. A lot of power and speed in that hit by Umandal. Short serve for Josafat keeps Adamson in this game down by only two points. The subs continue to stay on the floor for Adamson. Paulino will serve. Good first ball by Miguel. Here comes Mandal on the attack. The pickup by Manato. Here comes Kai. Tense moments here. 
And the home stretch of set number two, guy in between Miguel and Sumangid. Timeout signal. Hindi pwedeng nagtutu is to one. Front set ka. So receivers, pwedeng malapit sa netang pasa dito kay EJ, ha? Pag medyo lumayo ng konti, kahit running short si Peter, sabihin mo sa kanya, J-long na lang. O first option, magandang pasa, hindi na block sa running short, sa running short. Pag medyo bumuka, pwede ka tumapon dito, tsaka kay... Sa back row. Again, front set to, ha? Hindi, it's even din. Pwedeng pipe, pwedeng ano. Pero pag magandang pasa, running short. Let's go, let's go. Timeout called by the HD Spikers. Pemi Bagalay of VNS. All smiles. They, they won the bronze yesterday mm, in the BNBF right. yes. Challenge Congratulations Cup. Congratulations to VNS. Beating uh, NU. Good response from Signal after that timeout. Well, uh, Coach Dexter really gave out very specific instructions on what kind of play he wants them to execute. Three points for Jao Mandal and Signal two points away from taking the second set. A set of play! Kill block for Peter Torres and the stare down. Timeout called by Davis Adamson. First ball? What do you want to give us? Let's go. 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 Let's take a look at that previous play. Well, Peter Torres was just all over that, so... Saradong Banco, Sunday. So really a very... It's well read, actually. Before Kogimbal, there was, was Peter. <laughs> there was Peter Torres. Yeah, but uh, just before the start of the sequence, you see Peter Torres um, talking to Kogimbal. Set point for Signal, but an error for Umandal and Adamson are only down by two. Signal will make use of their timeout. Alam nila magrerun short dito. Di di nila di nila kaya blakin yun. Kasi coach ilang araw na tayong puro short. Di tayo na ako pa. Yes. Sado so. Dun mo na tayo. Dun mo tayo. Okay. Hindi lang. Tiwal lang. Mas mas confident ka dito. Di ka confident nlo. Di di. Pasi kay. O pagbagat ng pasa running short. Malo yung malit dito. Ah. Tapos sino na sa likod natin? Tika. O front line nlit to. Pwede magdrop. Nasa yun na ako. Kaya nung bibigay sa tatlo na yun. Okay. Pero ready ka pa rin. Sinsan pag pumunta dito yung receive, ready ka. Ah, go, 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 go. You like that timeout from Signal, no? Open communication between Coach Dexter Clamor and his players. Peter Torres voicing out na mas komportable siya sa isang play na hindi, na contrary to what Coach Dex wants. Right, So it's a good, no? It's it's not that they're also being heard, di ba? So collaboration within the team. Recognizing their strengths so far. Let's see what they will do here. Kasanya tried to go for the finish. Off speed does not work. EJ. And that one, the finisher for Peter Torres. They followed the play when the ball went back to them. Miguel picks it up. Casania to Torres. And set two goes to the Signal HD Spikers. We'll be back with set number three here on One Sports and Filipinas Live.
back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center for the Spikers Surf Invitational Conference set to went to the Signal HD Spikers and we saw a different lineup pinasok yung mga main gunners for their squad which got them that win over Adamson in set 2. That's right. So Signal on set number 2 had a very strong start so they kept the lead. Uh, we've tied on certain points, you know, especially the, the first half of the second set. But right after that, the signal just made sure that uh, they took control and maintained the lead. So very consistent attacking on the side of signal. And, you know, Adamson actually still played very well. So there's nothing that, uh, I think there's nothing really lacking, you know, on the, on the side of uh, how they played in the second set. It's just that, you know, signal really stepped up their game as compared to set number one. As we take a look at the numbers of set number two, 17 attack points for Signal and the four block points. And this is one of the areas that really made it difficult for Adamson because the blocking, the net defense was really there for Signal. And in terms of errors, Signal still gave out more errors than the young squad of Adamson. So uh, very controlled ang errors itong Adamson, which is, I think is one of the advantages that they have. Right. Um, service service wise, actually they've been more consistent. Only one service error so far, while Signal already has eight. Now, Signal banked on their blocking. They're number two in the league in that category. As we welcome you to set number three between Adamson and Signal. Dip Dip Bianco with Ivy Remulia calling this match. And we also have Denise Valdesancho as our courtside reporter. One all to start this set. No changes for the HD Spikers in their lineup. Wendell Miguel is the team captain for this game. We know that Isai Marasigan will not uh, suit up. Miguel sending that over. One hand set. Naibalik sa Adamson. Aguilar goes to the other side. Casania, Umandal, picked up by Paulino, Domingo, Ogai, tough angle. Chance for Signal, Bugawan, a bit too low. Yeah, that was quite difficult for a JP Bugawan. A little miscue, I think he was asking for a B. Yeah, sabi niyo dun, pag, oh, kaya pitin eh. pag ikot niya mababa, yung set. Coach Dexter. Being a former setter himself, telling EJ Casanya na iangat pa niya. Ito, mas mataas, pero nabalik pa rin. Miguel goes to Umandal. The push, kept alive. Paulino, what a play! One of the best plays we've seen so far. That was not an easy set. It was not actually, but a good pickup on the side of Flores Domingo, Judah Aguilar. Just perfectly put that up. For Paulino. As if he had eyes on the back oh. of his head. I think an uh, advantage din na naging setter din siya, di ba, for one season for UAP. Mm. So uh, it's like having a backup setter there. Oh, no touch. Called by the referee. Pumandal wants to take a look at that, asking for a check. It seemed like it hit the tape of the net. But could have bounced off also in the hands or one of the arms of the blockers. Well, let's see based on this challenge. Right now, it's Davis Adamson with a two-point lead to start set number three. Remember, they're trying to get a win over Signal. Because as it, as it stands in Pool C, they are right above Letran. Mm -hmm. Two points above them, but in terms of record, tabla sila three and one. That's right. So that's why, you know, like for this match, the, they, they have to get the most out of it. So mm. if they lose, it has to be in five sets. And if they lose, of course, again, it, they would be uh, banking on the results of the last game of Letran. And of course, they do hope that Letran would lose that game yeah. to assure them that they would be uh, taking the number two spot here. But obviously, you don't want to count on the other teams. Mm, that's right. With their results, you want your fate to depend on your own performance. Right. So and if they if you know if Adamson is as ma is able to manage to steal this game against Signal, then that's an assured number two spot. Oh, definitely there was a touch. Papa mm -hmm. but it went back up because of that touch from Adamson. 
Successful challenge. Point goes to the HD Spikers. And Bugawan will be the one to serve. Two to three. Good serve and an ace for JP Bugawan. Take a look at that once again. They got the first touch. Pero wala nang kumuha ng pangalawa for Adamson. Good floater from uh, JP Bugawan, who now has six points, four from attacks, one block, one ace. Another good serve, Domingo. <laughs> Paulino. That was a bit dangerous on their part, jumping over Aguilar. Net touch is what Signal is asking for. Score is at three all here in set number three. Signal, meanwhile, Signal is undefeated in this tournament so far. This and, is their uh, final match. That's right, and they've only dropped one set Isapala. so far. Yes. Oh, counting the other one. Oh, yeah, so two. But just goes to show uh, their performance so far here in the Invitational mm -hmm. Conference. Playing with a purpose. They are the champions of the last Open Conference. Where they beat uh, AMC Cotabato. Jao Mandal was the MVP of that conference. And he has now transferred to the HD Spikers. Coach Dexter clarifying at what point yung challenge na yun mm -hmm. for the net touch. So the ball was kept in play, but they were challenging na may net touch na bago lumapag yung bola. That's right. So uh, just waiting for the technical committee to review. I think they're trying to look for that sequence. Uh, they're still trying to figure out that previous play. And just goes to show the importance of mm. ng larong ito for both teams. That's right. Even if pasok na yung signal sa quarters, we know that they struggled. You can say in that last game, you know, after dropping that set, right, pa sila. That's eh. right. So, you know, I think it's for, for Signal, if we take a look at Isai Marasigan and the rest of a Signal squad, you know, I think more than anything, of course, for Signal, even if they're already assured of moving on, on to the next round, it's really more of, you know, how it, how this win, you know, it could bring additional um, momentum for them. So, Shempre, you would want to feel good entering the next round mm. in high spirits. So, that's, that's, these are all the different things that uh, would matter, of course. So we're still taking a look or waiting. So, there's a bit of a discussion over here. So I think what's going to be the contention here now is what went, what happened first? Is mm. it if there was indeed a net violation error, was it that the viol net violation error occurred first before the ball dropped on the floor, or was the ball already on the floor yeah. when they hit the net? And that's what they're trying to figure out here. That's going to be a a close call, then, you know, depending on the replay. Players right. trying to keep themselves warm. Galaw, galaw, no? Kailangan. Mm -hmm. din mahirap din sometimes, you know, when, when, the, when the challenge is posted. Eh. So it can take a while. Of course, they're reviewing it. So I think uh, the second referee is asking the team captain to uh, talk to the first referee. A good thing that the score right now is 3 all no? So this doesn't really, I guess, favor anyone. Yeah, this, that's right. So it doesn't matter. This lull here. Mm -hmm. But if this were a crucial... Like probably a set point. Oh, my up <laughs> knowing that. I don't think any of, the, of these teams would let it go. I think that's one of the Adamson fans at the background there. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the fans of the Soaring Falcons have come here inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center in Manila. You can still catch up, by the way, if you're just near the venue. Our final game day of this Sunday quadruple header. A while ago, it was Centro Mall. Mm -hmm. The, the game before this Centro Mall, EAC Generals winning over Bayleaf Hotel's Lyceum Pirates. So the point now is awarded to Adamson. In the first two matches, also Sanbeda winning that one. And then the second one, and you losing to Army. So I think ang nangyari dito Ivy is that ni nila tinlo yung challenge. That's no? right. Yeah. So uh, that does not count. It's not counted against the challenge of signal. So it was uh, just an overruled decision by our uh, referee. And as if there was no lull, Peter Torres ties the game up at four all. Pero hindi man lang nalamigan eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd Osafat serves. That's a good one. Sent back. Adamson now down by one. And this attack by Casas did not... Seemed like it did not cross the net. So attack header the side of Adamson. Signal takes the lead, five to four. Domingo back sets to Casas wide. And three straight points for the HG Spikers. Six serving four. Another poor reception for Adamson. So that's what making that is what that that is what is uh, making it difficult now yeah. for Adamson. You know the first ball. Uh, they need a good pass in order for them to execute their attack. Osafat serving well. Domingo upset Paulino. Chops that one. Adamson down by two. Casas will serve five to seven. Umandal miss receives. Sumang goes to Jao. Tough set. What a smart play by Jao Umandal. And that's experience for you. Pinadaan sa block ng Adamson signal sends us to our first technical timeout. for many how these players after plenty of continuous matches from different leagues managed to uh, pull off you know still a stellar execution of their play this has been uh, what the men in the red shirts have been facing no at kahit si coach Dex sinabi sa akin na minsan nalilito na raw sila with the games pati na rin sa trainings and preparations nila but this is the least of their worries because with players as experienced as the single HD spikers it's just uh, trusting the system now at some point they even find it beneficial mentally uh, pagod but the experience and opportunity Back to set three. Thank you, Denise, for that report. No, the Signal AC Spikers, their preparation started for a couple of months now. They came from their trip to Europe. They had 
scrimmages with different club teams and then they also joined the PNVF Challenge Cup and obviously the training does not stop for these guys. That's right, so there's always that uh, fatigue factor. Another point here for Signal and it, it's the errors of Adamson actually. Uh, three errors. It started off with the attack errors, you know, from, from Adamson. Jao Mandala will serve. Domingo goes to Paulino. And Paulino scores off the block. Six serving nine here in set number three. Casania goes to Torres. Adamson hasn't had a solution on that Torres attack. That's right. You know, the blocker was already there, but still, Peter Torres is able to find a way through. I think, it, you know, if you have Peter Torres there, you can't just have one guy going up against him. It has to be, at the very least, a double block. Pancake saved by Umandal. Bugawan dives and Miguel sends it over. What a tip for Kogimbal. And again, Signal will challenge, this time for real. Net touch on that dump. It's always interesting to see the reaction of uh, the opposing team, no? Because mm -hmm. they, they know if they were, they clip the net. Two challenges still for Signal. Ni pa nagamit, di ba, Coach Dex? <laughs> so he has complete challenges. We're waiting to see if uh, this will be successful or not. But we have, I think we have to commend the, the save from that last sequence no, from Signal. Mm. So we started off with that pancake save by uh, Josh Obandal. <laughs> Signal missing their captain, Isai Marasigan. So this is the replay. Oh, no, 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 no net touch. It was the ball who grazed the net. Yeah. Malayo. Mm -hmm. One more challenge remaining for the HG Spikers. Davis Adamson will be the one to serve 7 to 10. Kogimbal with a serve. Miguel with the approach. Underneath. And that's out. Kogimbal serves once again, misreceived by Umandal. Umandal has been the target of uh, Kogimbal's service. And the number one blocker also getting the aces. Timeout called by Signal. I just assumes, can we, can we play right na lang? Tapos sa back row na lang po. Okay. 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 Ipapasan lang ni tips kay Jao oh. Mandel, no? And we say naman eh, tama naman daw yung ano eh, nasa tamang pweso naman siya, so it's really a matter of like, pwede naman daw niyang i, uh, hindi i-overhead. Yeah, underhand na lang. Oh. Coach Dex just asking for his team to play right. O Safat. That's a point. But looks like Gadamson will want to challenge the foot fault. Mm -hmm. Quite close, actually. As 
All right, so that is overturned and eventually a point for Adamson. We are tied at 10 all. Three straight points for the Soaring Falcons. Kasanya goes to Bugawan. Bugawan just wiping that with the hands of Guy. Here comes Adamson. Nobody touched it. Too wide for Aguilar. Signal responds with back-to-back -back points after Adamson tied it up. Domingo goes middle to Aguilar. That's outside. Good read by Sumangid. Pero challenge itong uh, Davis Adamson for a ball in, ball out. Both coaches making use of their challenges here in set number three. Well, this is uh, an important set for both of these teams. They both have already their 1-1, one -one, tied one set apiece. So this could actually change the momentum for each of the teams and whoever gets to win the third set. Ooh, that actually dropped on the line mm -hmm. and it's inside. Oh, Coach Doming, one of the pillars of Adamson Volleyball. Casania picked up by Paulino, just in the wrong direction. Domingo sends it to Guy. Attack error for Adamson. Mm, that's right, coming from behind and was really very high as, at that as well. Thirteen to twelve. Good serve by Miguel. Canlas bumps it inside. I was already underneath the ball, but uh, just enough clip, enough wrist, aiming for that corner pocket. Casania goes to Bugawan. A cleaner attack for JP Bugawan. Picture perfect attack there for Bugawan. Let's take a look at that once again. I think, you know, you don't, even if you have three blockers, there's still a, still a lot of space for JP Bugawan because he can really twist his body around in midair. Oh, no. So athletic. Domingo not connecting with Aguilar. Another miscue. I think a set was too high. Eight points for JP Bugawan. Six attacks, one block, one ace. Make that two aces. <laughs> JP Bugawan trying to be playful. Gathers himself back up. Second technical timeout. Signal up by three. So, kailangan yung sistema nila ma-adapt ko agad. Mas consistent lang yung nangyayari ngayon 
sila, the way sila maglaro. As a team, hindi isang tao lang yung bumubuhay sa akin. Okay sila, yung chemistry, yung gel sa paglaro. As a team, hindi as individual. Dodobihin kayo yung sigap na makuha yung championship ngayon ng signal. Kunin namin yung back-to-back. First ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9. Only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports and Pilipinas Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. Bukawan will serve for Signal. 16 to 13. Casas on the push. And again. Those unexpected points coming. Ito yung service ace kanina ni Bogawan. When, look at that. <laughs> well, he is lucky not to have injured himself. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah. <laughs> because he had to be animated. <laughs> they can't afford to have another man down right now for the HD Spikers. Two point lead. Oh, Adamson. Free ball. Yep. Kasanya inangat kay Torres. This time picked up by the Blue Shirts. And Casas gets a point. Good defense shown by Adamson here. Aguilar with that setup to Casas. Casas off the hands of Mandal. 15 to 16. Kasanya to Umandal. Good dig by Domingo. Here comes Paulino. Picked up by Jao. Was a fat on the bump from Sumangid. Guy was there. Sumang again for the pickup. EJ to Umandal. And that draws the cheers from the crowd. That was a good rally. Mandal here with the kill, but still manages to squeeze that in between those blockers. Mm. Right through the middle, mm -hmm. Osafat serves. Domingo, combination, Paulino scores. Adamson here just uh, really making sure know that they that signal does not really lead by much keeping it close mm -hmm. Casania back sets to Torres what do you do about <laughs> that I mean they have not found a solution to the Torres running attack and I think uh, they haven't haven't kept the ball alive just yet you know no right. no block they haven't touched it from the block and even the floor defense eh, parang wala pa rin nakakahawak Palita ng tao for signal. Kasanya and Osafat will sit. Balbuena, Asia in. Uh, open, very open, no blockers. That was a good play from signal. Same with Adamson. They put in new players. That is Janjan Iboa. Also, Bermudez back on the floor as their setter. Mandal came in in set number two, has scored six points since. Guy with a good first ball, Paulino again. It's now with signal. Asia chooses Miguel. Blocked by Kogimbal. Big block there from Kogimbal. And that puts Adamson down by only one point. It's received. Sumang will give up a free ball. Bermudez. Goes to Iboa and a point off the block to ties up at 18 all. Good effort being shown here by Davis Adamson.
it's what a good. Counter yeah, I know, right? And it's good that you know the these young the young team not being faced that they're <laughs> playing against their idols. Wow, palag itong Adamson 18 all Valbuena picked up a back set to guy. Nay balik guy saves it free ball for signal Asia. Back row attack from Umandal. Umandal hammering that through. Excellent play from Signal. Let's take a look at that once again. Like everybody in the side of Signal flying all over. <laughs> so if you're the defender of Adamson, sino ba ang idedepensahan ko? And especially the Torres is able to connect. No? Exactly. He threw blockers there. Bermudez upset. They go to Guy. Nip and tuck here in set number three. We are tied at 19 all. Kogimbal getting ready to serve. He's got 10 points. It's just so Pagkakataon for Davis Adamson. Liboa on the tip. Asia. Tubugawan. Wow, JP Bugawan. You know, the hang time really. Let's take a look at that last attack once again. Bugawan. It's really hard to defend. Signal now at the 20-point mark. Kosafat, Kasanya back on the floor. EJ getting ready to serve. Eclipse the net. Bermudez goes to Guy again. Umandal was there for the pickup. Here comes Miguel. And down it goes for Wendell Miguel. Excellent hit from Miguel going down the line. No defenders from Adamson. A lot of open space, you know, they kept it down the line open, but there was no one defending the floor. Nilalabasan la lahat ng celebrations sa dito. Who will not run out of energy here in the end of set three? Miguel puts it up. The point for Josafat off the block. And timeout called by Davis Adamson. Let's check that last play from Josafat scoring off the block. Signal HD Spikers are ahead by three points. They only need three to get set number three. Outside for EJ Kasanya. It gives life to Davis Adamson. And the timeout there by Davis Adamson. They were the players who were being asked, no, are they nervous? Mm. It's That's normal. Right. And you know, they were being said that there's no pressure down with tong game na to, you know, just treat it like practice. There's they, they don't have anything to lose, perhaps. Good dig by Domingo, but Adamson unable to get something out of that play. Uh, too much push on that set. Three point lead for Signal. Domingo. Block. And Bukawan. <laughs> Showing exactly why 
He was the best middle blocker of last conference. Signal at set point, timeout by the Soaring Falcons. Nakademoralize, di ba? Sayang na depensa ng kasama natin, set lang natin, silit natin ng piket. Siray momentum. Okay. Oh, bago nga yun. Sinasabi ko nga sa inyo, okay lang naman magkamali. Ang hindi okay, yung tagal natin bumangon. At pagka nagkamali tayo, isang tanong, okay na yun. Bago na agad. Wala na, wala na. Try natin, try natin. Balgon! Sorry! Coach Fritz Santos talking to his team. Seeming like they have been demoralized by the past couple of place from signal that's right so i mean we've seen how adamson they, they they have in their past games they had this ability that you know when they co they co commit an error they're able to make up for it mm. or recover from the error so i think that's what uh coach fritz was looking for here in this match and they're able to respond with that one one set point saved that lupa Ang kailangan ng Adamson. It will be their captain, guy to serve. Chance here for Signal. Bugawan for the finish. And set three goes to the Signal HD Spikers. Kasanya to the flying JP Bugawan. And down it goes. HD Spikers up two sets to one. We'll be back with set number four. Back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center, you're still catching the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference here on One Sports and on Pilipinas Live. Let's take a look at what happened in set number three. A long one because of the challenges that happened, but the Signal HD Spikers turning to different attackers. The main gunners, Peter Torres, and then towards the end, Another middle blocker, JP Bogawan, led the way. That's right. So the middles for Signal HD are really uh, being uh, activated mm -hmm. well here in the third set. Of course, Joshua Mandal also had his highlights, especially a lot of good kills from the pipe. You know, so H Signal HD is really making sure that they are able to, uh, you know, get the win here as we take a look at the numbers quite inter interestingly enough uh, davis adamson has more attack 
points. Just one more that the Signal has made. Both had two block points each and two service aces each. But what has uh, really changed things for uh, Davis Adamson here is the number of errors that they gave out. Mm -hmm. So I think it was pretty obvious, you know, that when they were committing these errors, that there's something that changed in terms of how they move inside the court. So that kind of affected the momentum that uh, Adamson Davis had. So although towards the end, slowly they were able to recover because the momentum was already on the side of signal and very obvious that signal is no backing down. Right, timely points also from Josafat and Wendell Miguel as we begin set number four here. Tip Di Pianco with Ivy Ramulia calling this match with Denise Valdesancho as our courtside reporter. Signal, or Adamson rather, drawing first blood in the fourth set. Kasanya goes to Bugawan. Their first point here in this set. A lot of uh, the discussion on the side of Adamson, Tinatan ng kanina ni Coach Fitz, about the nerves. What, mm. what else do you think happened towards the end? Were they just naunahan lang patalaga ng signal, or the AC Spikers just really turned the Jets in that set? Well, for, of course, for one, you know, the uh, HD Spikers were really playing very exceptional. So, all the more that it made it difficult para dito sa Davis Adamson to get their foot back on the on the game. So, ayun nga, and I think the the series of errors that Adamson has committed sort of shook them a little. Mm. Uh, it, and it kind of took a while, yeah. really. So, probably, you know, if it's were if Signal weren't already last three or four points, baka sakali, no, Adamson might still have been able to get their game back. Right. Pero yun nga eh, it was towards already the end of the set. Yeah, too little, too late mm, for the Soaring right. Falcons. Uh, key here is wag maiwanan sa simula. That, I remember that challenge, I think, was when Signal started to pull away. And uh, this guy right here was one of the reasons why Adamson had a difficult time in the third set. So very high efficiency rate for JP Bugawa. Until now, nobody from the blockers of Adamson has had a touch from his attacks. And even tight miss receive malang sa floor defense, wala rin. Very mm -hmm. clean. Uh, regalo para kay Jao Umandal to put signal up by two. Good start, strong start for Signal. And they're putting a lot of pressure on the first ball of Adamson, and that is what Adamson needs right now. They need good first ball. They struggled on this also on the third set. It dun talaga umabante at lumabang ang Signal. Combination to Paulino, picked up by Signal. Umandal, tough play. Did not have enough room to operate. Aguilar serves for Adamson. Kasanya goes back to Amandal. Jao breaks the block. Five serving three. It'll be JP Bugawan to serve. Domingo back sets to Casas. Casas now with uh, 17 points, leading uh, all the scorers for Adamson, Davis Adamson. On the other side, it's uh, JP Bugawan. Signal gets another point, courtesy of Peter Torres. So the two double-digit scorers for Signal is Bugawan and Torres. So Bugawan now has 14 points. Torres with the 12. Domingo back sets. Kogimbal scores. Five, 
Davis Adamson trailing by just one point. I think there's a wet spot on the side of Signal, so they had that wiped off. Well, we don't want to have injuries. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we have to make sure no wet spot inside the floor or inside the court. Player zooms. Casania goes to Torres. Again and again, Peter Torres delivers. Guy just jumping too early for that block. Let's take a look at that once again. So they know it's going to Peter Torres, but well, the blocker was not there. Outside for Jao Mandal. Kogimbal to serve. Kasanya to Torres again. Well, finally, they had a touch from the block. And we go to the first technical timeout. Signal up by two. Still watching the 2023 PN VF Invitational Conference. Two to one sets in favor of the Signal HD Spikers. Just a recap of the previous match of the Soaring Falcons. Outside Spiker Joel Minor was a standout, but right now you will observe Minor on the benches. It's been a week of no training and playing for the Falcon, but nothing huge to worry about. He just had his uh, one of his teeth extracted. At sabi niya, sabik na sabik ngaro sana siyang maglaro, but for the meantime, he will be cheering on the sidelines, hoping for the team to convert their trainings in this match. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we also have a poll on your streams. Let's take a time to answer while we head back to the panel. Thank you, Denise. That was Joel Menor of Adamson, one of their rookies. Uh, so action in their last game. Sitting out this one. Play continues with Torres serving. Domingo goes to Guy. Had to delay that one. They go back to him. But gave up a free ball instead. Kasanya goes to Bugawan. Sweepy so Bugawan, another kill for Signal. It's not often that you have two of your middle blockers leading the scoring oh, department. Oh, that's right. But you know, uh, Torres and Bogawan really has been very consistent. But oh, that was too low. That was outside, but Adamson will challenge Aguilar asking for a check. Oh, that was awarded to Adamson already. Miguel, good dig from Paulino. The drop does not work. Casania back sets. Josafat saved by Paulino. Aguilar doesn't get that one. Umandal bumps. Casania tips. Kept alive by Adamson. Long rally ongoing. Ended. No! And it's finally, so good. Finally, it's... they were able to pick up Bugawan's attack. Uh, there you go. <laughs> But JP Bugawan says, not, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Will not be denied twice. Mm -hmm. Manato save, saving that one. And then the dive. Yeah, that was Judah Aguilar with that uh, save. 
But GP Bugawa really wanted to make sure that they get the kill. What about the defense of Adamson? That's right. Not giving up easily. Same with Signal. Osafat. That was wide. He wants to challenge. Ball in, ball out is a challenge. I think they wanted to get that back though. Although na press the buzzer. That's right. But uh, could serve as a breather yeah. for them because that was really an intense <laughs> rally. Adamson keeping up with the signal mm -hmm. HD spikers. That's right. And in that last sequence, although the point went to signal, pero mingiting tagumpay ito Adam. So, because you know, finally they were able to pick up the ball, keep that ball alive yeah. from uh, the JP Bugawan attack. And also, si Torres na siguro yung oh, he said that next in uh, next na yun ang anilang assignment. Panalo na sila pag uh, nakuha pa na ni attack ni Torres. Oh, that is really, really close. <laughs> Napaganda pa for signal. Hitting the thinnest part of that line. Yeah, it was by a hair, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 11 to 7. Domingo back sets to Guy. Down the line. Down. Eight serving 11. Kasanya goes to Bugawan, kept alive. Casas. Easy pickings for Kasanya. That one not over. So back to back points here. Well, confusion in this sequence. Adamson will challenge for a block touch. To say that there wasn't any on the attack of Osafat. Or was that Miguel, I think? It was Miguel who had uh, that last attempt. From the set of Jao Mandal. So let's see. What this will bring, block touch. It seemed like there was none. Yep. It didn't go over. Mm -hmm. Just like that, the lead is cut down to two. Kasanya goes middle, Naibalik. Osafat, with all his power, getting that point. Adamson blockers were lost where the ball was. Wendell Miguel will be the one to serve 12 to 9 here in set number 4. Domingo back sets, pipe attack. That was a good play from Adamson. And that really confused the defense of Signal. Jude Aguilar serves for Adamson. Casania, underhand set. Omandal will opt to give a free ball. Domingo goes to Kogimbal. Naibalik sa signal. Jao goes up. Aguilar, the set to Paulino. Well, there was a touch. They were all calling for a touch, and I think Osafat uh, did admit to the touch. 
Yes, uh, Signal is, uh, is uh, admitting. Yep. <laughs> That is a practice that uh, was done also in the PNV of Challenge mm. Cup, I believe, right? The the green card. Yes, fair that's play. right. Players admitting. Oh, Safat says, "Ibabalik ko rin naman yung pointe." Eh. Davis Adamson trailing by two. Oh, Safat with that attack. Thirteen serving eleven. Too long for JP Bugawan. That's the twelfth service error wow. already for uh, Signal here in this match, and Adamson only has two since we started the match. Bermudez and Iboa will check back in for Adamson in the middle part of this set. Casania to Miguel. Casania going to Wendell Miguel on that one. Valbuena and Asia will return for signal. Yeah, familiar substitution we have here for both squads. It's hard to tell here in set number four, both teams just exchanging mm -hmm. points. Bermudez back sets. And Balbuena able to reach that one. Mabilis na sablang, no? Mm, As short. Cas Casas and Domingo will go back to the floor. Jewel Asia continues to serve for the HD Spikers, 15 to 12. Guy had to get out of the way. Paulino sent back. Domingo goes back to Paulino. Asia upset. Umandal, the drop. And that tip will bring Signal to 16 points into our second technical timeout. gain kami na experience. Uh, tignan namin kung saan yung mga capabilities namin, yung mga locks namin para i-improve pa. Yung mga bring out namin yung the best namin, mabigyan namin yung lahat na, na, na training namin sa hirap na ginawa namin. We soar higher pa and ganda kami sa lahat ng bagay kahit sino pa yan. <laughs> The best cheer dancing competition in the country is back. Catch the UAAP Season 86 Cheer Dance Competition on December 2 at 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports, UAAP Varsity Channel, and Pilipinas Live. That is this coming Saturday. Four point lead for the Signal HD Spikers. And combination works for Adamson. Good hit from Paulino. Excellent cross court. Thirteen serving sixteen. Asia back sets to Mandal. Nakuha na Adamson. Sumang was there for the pickup. Al Valbuena is rejected by Kogimbal. Davis Adamson now just down by two. This is that block against Palpuena. Yes. 
16, or 14 serving 16, rather. That's wide. Three point given up to signal as Jao Omandal prepares to serve for the HD Spikers. He's got 10 points. So he has struggled at the service line today. Well, most of the HD Spikers are struggling at the service line. You mentioned a double digit. Uh, that's a 13th yeah. service error already for the match. Just a two point game. Miguel attacks and scores. Edmar Bonono will see action for the first time to replace Peter Torres. A three-point lead for the Signal HD Spikers here in set number four. Good serve. Chance here for Signal Asia. Upset to Valbuena. Nabitin. Sayang you served Nayun. It was a free ball for Signal. And Bonono quickly heads back to the bench. Torres back on the floor. Oh, good pick up there. Good dig by Domingo. And a point for Adamson. That's a good pickup from defense. Guy getting that point. Manato just setting the play perfectly and a timeout called by the HD Spikers. Running short. Ito yung babakalo. Ikaw, oh, yun. Basta pag ito yung pasa, ito na lang, huwag mo na i-reverse dito. O, pag binigay mo ng break, in case, bigay mo, trikatiwalaan mo pa rin ito. Para eh, trikatiwalaan ka. Go, 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 go. Hey, signal! Awesome, signal! One day. Let's go, signal! Let's go! Let's go, Timeout called by the HD Spikers. They're up by one point over Davis Adamson. Lorenz Domingo with 19 excellent sets so far. Then Bukawan puts it away. And if you need a short point, you go to JP Bugawan. Emphatic kill for JP Bugawan. Kasanya is back on the floor. Signal looking to close this one out. Sumobra! And Bugawan with the falling attack. And that fell right in front of Paulino. Five points away from taking the match. And possibly, just possibly eliminating Adamson if Letran is able to get their win. But not yet done, says Aguilar. Miguel sends a free ball to push. Good intention, but Amandal was there for the chase. The pickup from Manato. The attack from Guy. Excellent play for Adamson.
19 serving 20. Casania goes middle to Bugawa. Naibalik. Miguel on the second try, short. That did not cross over, and we are now tied 20 apiece. 20 all. Adamson soaring Falcons not going down without a fight. Mm -hmm. Three point run here for Davis Adamson. And the captain, John Guy, continues to serve. Kasanya will choose Rosafat. Blocked, and that's inside. Adamson takes the lead. Well, the resilience of the young team in blue, really. You know, they're really showing how much they want this. 21 to 20. Kasanya to Bugawa and blocked again. Back and to back for Adamson. Emphatic block from Adamson. Let's take a look at that once again. They were expecting that it would go to Bugawa. Casas had a hand at that. That delay in his jump. Back week, single na to si Wendell, two or three, okay? Medyo dito yung pasa zooms, outside hitters, medyo dito yung pasa. Again, pag binigay sa'yo, may pareho man ang zone man, ha? Guys, don't forget to cover. Tuloy-tuloy, pagpapareho kasama nyo, cover ng cover, ha? Let's go, let's go. Time out by Signal a while ago. Hindi nila makover si JP Bugawan. Oh. <laughs> but what a time for the number four blocking team to deny Bugawan on his attacks. And uh, Adamson really playing very well. Just she... avoiding the, the errors here. Miguel down the line. It's outside. Eight unforced errors on the side of Signal. Wendell Miguel wants a challenge. Ball in, ball out. This will be huge. If it's unsuccessful, Davis Adamson will be up by three points. And that's big at this part of the set. That's right. So, uh, of course, Adamson would want to extend this to a fifth. Sabi mo nga, no? If they can't get the win, they will want at least a point out of it. Mm, that's right. But so, obviously, mas gusto nila manalo. Of course, because that's an assurance yeah. that they are the top two that it can advance to the next round. Mm. That's in. It's like what happened a while ago, right? Sobrang lapit. Sobrang lapit. It's a successful challenge for Signal. And the AG Spikers cut the lead down to one. Intense. Sobrang nipis. Sobrang nipis. <laughs> That's right. So, hindi yata kaya i-measure yun. <laughs> Play continues. Domingo back sets to Casas. Attack error. 22 all here in set four. Well, that's uh, gonna be a costly error on the side of Adamson. And Casas knows it. Soaring Falcons will call for time as we listen in. Now is not the time to back down if you are Adamson. They fought their way and they fought hard in this match, getting the first set, giving away the next two. But here in set number four, they were down 17 to 20. That's right, you know. So this is uh, going to be a test of their uh, mental toughness. 
One hand set. Aguilar finds the spot. And Adamson takes the lead back. Adamson just needs two more points to extend this match. Jude Aguilar will be tested. That is in. Kasanya goes to Bugawan. And JP is ready to fly high for signal. Another deadlock. All tied up at 23. JP Bugawan serving for signal. Bugawan with the serve. Good first ball. Domingo looks at Kogimbal outside. Davis Adamson arrives at set point. And uh, you can really say, you know, whatever, however this game turns out, I am sure the coaching staff of Adamson are really very proud because, mm -hmm. you know, this is a lot of toughness being shown here in this part of the match. A chance here, guy from the back. Yes! And they get the set. Adamson extends the match to five sets. From a broken play, that is, the captain delivers. John Guy gets the final point here in set number four. This is the winning point off the block. Signal unable to save that. And we are going to set number five. We'll be back after this break. Back inside the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center in Manila. We are not yet done here. The match between Davis Adamson and the Signal HD Spikers is going to a fifth set. That's right. A very exciting fourth set we had there. A lot of good exchanges, a lot of good rallies, a lot of uh, good saves from both of these teams. And we've seen also magnificent plays uh, on both sides. You know, a lot of combination attacks. Everybody's being active both at the front and in the pipe and uh, I think you know what's 
Adamson has been training, you know, in, in terms of points for the most part, and they, they managed to catch up towards the end. They had the uh, five-point run, you know, when um, Signal reached the 20-point mark, and after that, they, were, they just never looked back. Let's take a look at the number signal ahead in terms of attacks. They had six more attack points than Davis Adamson, but the blocking of Adamson worked really well here in this fourth set. And what really changed here for Adamson was the, the fact that they really minimized their errors. Only two points given away by Davis Adamson, while signal gave away seven. And, you know, the young squad took advantage yep. of the fact that Signal was committing errors. Almost flawless for Adamson. And also, they were able to deny JP Bugaban on his attacks. Jao Mandal is on the bench right now. And he is hurting. We saw him a while ago in the previous set. Hopefully nothing too serious for Jao Mandal. As we welcome you all to set number five here in the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference 2023 on One Sports. On One Sports Plus and Pilipinas Live, Dip Dipianco and Ivy Remulia. Along with Denise Valdez Sancho, the broadcast team for this one. First to 15. Adamson gets the first one. Blocked by Jude Aguilar. A lot of energy and momentum on the part of Davis Adamson. We're hoping to secure a slot in the quarters. The signal responds. This is going to be a quick one. Wendell Miguel. Serving. Domingo back sets to Guy. Well, Guy has been consistent for Adamson. And that's, uh, you know, as a captain, really, he is stepping up. He already has 15 points for uh, Davis Adamson. Kasanya. Baba for Bugawan. The Gilar. Once again, able to deny Mugawan. Well, this is Signal's second fifth setter in two days. Hey, can you imagine, you know, <laughs> the, the, the toll it takes in their bodies. And a service ace for John Guy. What a time for these plays to come for Adamson. Signal will regroup and call for time. Again, presence of mind, pare. Pag nasa loob ng court, presence of mind. Nakita mo na mag-short take. Kukuhanan mo na yun. Pangalawa, pag, pag bumalo ng cross, make sure you reach over para sa kanila babagsak. Kaya hindi yan. Nandiyan ka sa loob ng court. Yung kasama mo, nasaktan na nang gagawin mo. Papabayaan mo lang. Lumaban ka. Ha, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Coach Dexter Clamor pressing the timeout button. He wants his boys to have that presence of mind inside the court. That's right, and he's calling in, of course, for them to play for Joshua Mandal, who's now down. Outside for Guy. Three point for Signal. And the HD Spikers are down by two. Signal has only lost a total of three sets. Two from this match so far. No loss yet on their record. That's inside for JP Bugawan. Uh, Adamson players saying that it was really inside. Coaching staff wanted to challenge. Look at the numbers from Bugawan though. 21 points already. 
Better first ball, Domingo back sets. Casas, and that ball is into the stands. This is that hit. Casas going cross court again, just too much for Miguel. Five serving three. Aguilar on deck to serve. Casania goes. Mark Calado, we haven't seen him since set number one or set number two. Yeah, but he has uh, he has scored a lot, you know, for a signal when he was fielded in. He's been sitting out for how many sets, but he's among the top scorers yeah. that we have right now. So that's his ninth point. Parang sa simula lang siya ng set two mm -hmm. naglaro eh. And ever since we haven't seen him, Mozafat. Oh, that's a double contact already. Tied game at five all. A virtual race to 10 right now. Another good serve. Casas off speed. Easy pickup for Miguel. Torres. Not the cleanest of hits. Free ball for signal. Sumangit. Bump set. Scalado. Oh, that, that makes it to the line. Casas with that block. All of a sudden, the blocking of Adamson. Doing wonders. And we must not forget that uh, in most of the games, it has been their blocking, you know, that has really helped them. Torres. Outside. It's back up to a two-point lead for the Soaring Falcons. <laughs> the cheering continues. For the San Marcelino squad, Francis Casas, 20 big points. Casania, Calado. Yes. Good hit from Calado. And a good time, of course, to step up here for Signal. Mark Calado, a newcomer for the HD Spikers, serving. Domingo, upset. Paulino, down it goes. Paulino with another excellent hit. Let's take a look at that once again. Only one blocker up there against Paulino. Now with 12 points in the game. Two-point game here in set number five. Davis Adamson fighting for survival. They want a ticket straight to the quarterfinals. They don't want to wait for the result of Letran's match in their final one. Signal, meanwhile, wants to stay unblemished mm -hmm. in their record. Davis Adamson. Up by two points. Looking to be the second collegiate team to beat Signal this weekend. And that's a record already in itself, you know, I think it doesn't matter how the rest of the tournament turns out for them, but the fact that they are able to do that, of course, will be one for the books. They came here knowing exactly what they needed to do. And that is to topple the, de the defending champs. Some clarifications on the side of Adamson for their rotation. And it's correct, Paulino will be the one to serve. Important serve here now for Paulino. Sumang. Casania. 
Smart play of the block. Bonono replaces Torres again for the service. Important serve here for Bonono. I think this is exactly those instances when you kind of feel the pressure when you're put in. Edmar Bonono getting that in short was Kogimbal. And guess what? Another deadlock at eight all. Timeout called by Adamson as we take a look at that last sequence. Signal supporters praying and hoping that their team will get this win. Letran is also hoping that Signal will get the win. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. That uh, gives them more chances, of course, for that second spot here in this pool. Domingo picked up by Calado. Miguel goes up. Paulino with a save. Dug up by Osafat. Back row from Calado. Oh, ball still alive. It's playable. Guy. Still good. Chance for Adamson. Domingo, the tip. No. Oh, Togimbal is down. Oh, he is slow to get up. And that is sent back by Signal. Togimbal frustrated on that previous play. Oh, Miguel accidentally stepping on Kogimbal. That's what he was pointing out. Don't think he was hurt though, so. Play continues. Signal up by one. And Guy! Oh, solid block by Bogawan. Back to back rejections for the HD Spikers. And the tables have turned here in set number five. And this would be the true test for this young team. Push Dexter Clamor pump up. He wants this win so bad. Domingo. Coach Dex trying to get out of the way. Players diving, sacrificing their bodies. That's what you love about volleyball action. Yes. Good thing uh, nobody was hurt mm -hmm. in that play. Davis Adamson down by one. But our cameraman could have been. Oh, my, no, but it's not. Oh, in players, maybe not, but the cameraman might be. In that mic, it's not a slow mo. Meanwhile, the soaring Falcons respond with back to back points. This is a good read. Guy blocking Kasana. Virtual race to five. Sino unang bibitao? Bugawan flies. And they would be sure to maximize JP Bugawan while he is at the front line. He has been very consistent mm -hmm. with his attack. Mm -hmm. 11 to 10 is the score here in the fifth set. Casania will serve. Domingo. Outside for Aguilar. That wasn't the best of their executions. Uh, the ball was too fast and a bit low you know, for Aguilar. Soaring Falcons will use their final timeout.
Now you heard the huddle. The the points of signal coming from the heirs of Adamson. That's right. So, uh, and we all know that Adamson really has not been giving out a lot of errors here in this game. So that says a lot. Yeah. How tight this match is. Especially in set four, where they only had two yes, errors. Yes, that's right. So, but then again, of course, uh, set number five is only a race to 15. Yep. Signal only needs three points. Can last upset. Too much power on that attack. So, may gigil. Nakasama, but they're calling for a touch. But I think there's none. Yun yung kakasabi lang sa timeout, eh, yung errors. <laughs> Haunting Adamson. Here in the fifth set, block touch is what Adamson is asking for. They don't have any more timeouts. This can serve as a way for them to regroup. And this could change things, of course, uh, should this go Adamson's way. Yeah. For them to realign. Remember, in set four, they were down 17 mm, to 20. That's right. So if Makuan ng signal to, they will be down by just three points still. No block touch, challenge unsuccessful. And a three point advantage for the HD Spikers. Si Isay Marasigat, sumamarin sa huddle momentarily. I'm sure he wants to be on the floor right now for his team. But cheering will do for now. 13 to 10. Domingo. To Aguilar, pagkakatan for signal. Oh, That's that makes inside. it to the line. And Mark Calado with a little dance as he sends signal to match point. Gutsy move on the second touch. And that is inside. Four match points for Signal. Domingo. Naibalik ni Montero. It's kept alive, the effort from Calado. Miguel for the finish. No. Guy rejected. And Signal wins in five sets. What an intense match we have here. And this is not the championship, Dip. <laughs> <laughs> it is not, but it surely feels like one. The HD Spikers stay undefeated in the Invitational Conference. And this is that winning point from Signal. JP Bugawan with a solid block against Guy. Five straight wins now for Signal as they march on to the quarterfinals. Bugawan gave it his all in the win for Signal. We'll be back to wrap this one up after this short break.
And that closes our uh, quadruple header for today's game with the single age of these spikers going to the quarterfinals. We have here Peter Torres with 14 points, 12 attacks, and two blocks. Hello, Peter. No, how much? Congratulations. Uh, thank you, po. Thank you, thank you. I know the soaring Falcons were pretty aggressive today. They got the first and the third set. Uh, pa personally, san ka nahirapan no? and how did you overcome this? Um, personally, uh, yung mga bata kasi, ano eh, kondisyon, uh, mabibilis, malakas. And kami, tinry lang namin ilabas yung uh, game plan namin. And siguro kami ngayon is medyo pagod galing sa few days of games, pero nilaban namin. And ayun, nanalo naman. Uh, yes, Peter, no, the fifth set naman, it was so uh, continuous, yung tagiging tight nung rallies. Paano kayo nag-adjust the team coming no, from the past sets? Um, actually, all throughout the game, same lang eh. So, yung energy nila nung first hanggang fifth set, same lang. So, kami naman, minamatch lang namin, nilalabas namin yung ano namin, yung laro namin. Kasi, titibay, titibay talaga ng Adamson. Thank you so much, Peter. And again, congratulations to the rest of the team. Now, we're heading over to our panel. Thank you, Denise. Uh, there you have it, Peter Torres speaking. On behalf of JP Bogaon, who's our best player of the game, the cramps that he dulo, you know, because... He gave it his all in this match, Ivy. That's right. 23 points for uh, JP Bugawan, 17 from attacks, 3 from blocks, and 3 from aces. So, and it's a five set match. As I said, JP Torres, kanina, no, they've been playing consecutive games. So, no wonder, siguro mm. talagang the cramps just kicked in for uh, JP Bugawan. And Mark Calado, also a good uh, sub, mm -hmm. na pinasok ng set number five. Remember, he had those important points. And then, that final, uh, the second to the last point for Signal, but. What a game for Adamson, nothing to take away from uh, from them. A gallant stand, and they were able to force a five-setter against the top team here in Spikers Turf. That's right, and it was a close five-set, uh, fifth set at that, you know. So really a good game performed by the young team, and uh, uh, nothing to lose, nothing to be ashamed about from Adamson. I think they really played very well, but, you know, it's just a signal has... Uh, Really a lot up in their sleeves today. Right. And uh, definitely, of course, they would want to get that win. And they showed how much they wanted that win. And uh, at the end of this game, Signal will go on to the quarterfinals with a perfect record. Meanwhile, Adamson, as we take a look at the numbers in set five, pag usapan natin yung implications, tignan natin muna mm -hmm. yung numbers in set five. That's right. So six attack points uh, for Signal against four and three blocks made by a signal and two for the Adamson, two service aces ang uh, nakuha naman ng points and signal for the set. So basically, it's pretty much well balanced. But this time around, you know what? It's the errors that uh, Adamson committed and it was towards the last stretch of the set. So we were seeing uh, how good they were throughout the entire match and tried to minimize the errors. In fact, set number two, dalawa lang ang kanilang error. But in set number five, well, four is, uh, is, is, not as, is really not as much. But committing that towards the last part, then sa fifth set, so that made it all the more difficult, you know, for Adamson. So the momentum shifted towards Signal. Right, the Soaring Falcons will uh, leave with a point after this match, and the games continue on Wednesday. Still here at the Paco Arena Events and Sports Center in Manila, Saint Gerard Construction will go up against Santa Rosa. Kintu Tires Perpetual will face Don Pacundo. De La Salle, Das Marinas, and PGJC Navy will go up against Alpha Omega. Letran will still have their final match to determine who will enter in the Pool C next to Signal. And that does it for our quadruple header here this Sunday on One Sports, on One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. On behalf of our courtside reporter, Denise Valdesancho, my partner, Ivy Remulia. My name is Dipti Bianco saying thank you for watching the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference where power meets passion.